Hi, I am Dilip from Anamika's Academy and today we are going to learn future continuous tense. As the name itself suggests, it's a future action and continuous suggests that some work will be in progress. So that is how we can define future continuous tense. Now let's have some examples to make the concept absolutely clear. Yahan pe agar dekhenge, to hamare paas ek vakya hai, main shaam ko tumhara intezar kar raha hoonga. Iska ye matlab hota hai, at some particular time in future, which is tomorrow's evening, ye action चल रहा होगा। Similarly, तुम अगले साल इस कॉलेज में पढ़ाई कर रही होगी। So again, at some point of time in future, this action will be going on. Third example, वे लोग कल इस वक्त यात्रा कर रहे होंगे। Again, we have the similar trend. That at some point of time this action will be going on. So in future continuous tense, we include those actions which will be in progress at some point of time in future. Now let's have a look of the structure. It will start with subject followed by will or shall depending on the subject and then we will have additional word be and finally the identification of any continuous tense verb will come with ing and finally we will have an object. So this is how the structure looks and we will use this structure to frame the sentences of the examples that we have seen. Now another thing, if you want to identify the sentences of future continuous, there are certain common things in these examples. Jaise ki, raha, honga, rahi, hogi, rahe, honge. So in any tense, if you find these words like raha, honga, rahi, hongi, raha, hoga, rahi, hogi, rahe, honge, then you can conclude that these sentences belong to future continuous tense. Now let's have a look of the subjects and how this will and shall can be used. Now shall can be used with I or V but in modern English even with I and V, will is very popular. So that normally comes. Apart from that, for other subjects like you, he, she, it, this, that, any name or they, these, those or several names, always will be, will come. So this is how we can try to put in the structure that we have seen. So now let's take the first example and try to convert it into English. मैं शाम को तुम्हारा इंतजार कर रहा होगा. So it will start with I, then finally will be, and then we have verb with ing. for you in the evening. I will be waiting for you in the evening. So here as per the structure I has come in the beginning and then we have will be verb plus ing which is indicative of this action in progress 
and finally we have the time when this action will take place now let's take the second example tum agle saal is college mein padhai kar rahi hogi so here you will come in the beginning and then same will be and then verb with ing in class next next year you will be studying in this class next year now let's take the third example ve log kal is waqt yatra kar rahe honge this will start with they and again same will be and verb with ing and then this is the indication of time they will be traveling at this time tomorrow so here we have got three sentences of those examples which belong to future continuous tense all these three sentences have started with the subject and then will be and verb with ing and then we have an object now there are those sentences which are positive now let's see how to get the negative sentence now if you want to convert a positive into negative then instead of will be we will have will not be and in short it becomes won't be so by putting won't be instead of will be will make the sentences negative Now let's see how this can be done. तो यहां पर हमारे पास पॉजिटिव सेंटेंस है आई विल बी वेटिंग फॉर यू इन द इवनिंग ना इफ आई वॉन्ट टू मेक इट नेगेटिव आई विल सिंपली राइट आई वोट बी वेटिंग फॉर यू इन the evening i won't be waiting for you in the evening similarly we can convert this you won't be studying in this class next yo Let's take the third one. They won't be traveling at this time tomorrow. So we have seen that instead of putting will be. if we can use won't be the sentence becomes negative rest of the structure remains the same after positive and negative let's see how to make interrogative sentences so if you can see the structure you will find that will comes in the beginning and then subject and then we have be so this is to be kept in mind while framing questions or interrogative sentences and finally we have verb with ing so this is the structure of a yes no question now let's uh, see how the questions can be framed with the help of this structure now we have one example you will be studying in this class next year 
Now from this, if I want to make an interrogative sentence, it will be will you be studying in this class next year. Now this question will be answered in either yes or no. Let's take another example. We will try to extract an interrogative sentence from this statement and that can be done by will they be traveling at this time tomorrow will they be traveling at this time tomorrow so both are interrogative sentences and their answers will be in yes or no now we also have certain interrogative sentences which are negative so in that case instead of will we can use won't and that sentence can be made a negative interrogative sentence let's suppose this sentence is to be made negative so instead of will i will simply put won't won't you be studying in this class next year so by simply replacing will by won't we can make the interrogative sentence negative now let's see how to make questions which are fact finding questions as you know we do ask many questions which cannot be answered only in yes or no we seek information from the person whom we are talking to and to ask those questions we can take help from the structure of wh questions now if you can look here the structure of wh is not very different from yes no the only additional component is wh which can be which how where why etc and the rest of the structure remains the same it uh, will be uh, will and then subject and then be and finally uh, we have verb with ing so with the help of this wh in the beginning we can ask a fact finding question so let's see how to ask that if we can say where will you be waiting for me in the evening where will you be waiting for me in the evening so here because of the presence of where now i want to know about the place where this action of waiting will happen similarly we can take another example why will you be talking to him tomorrow why will you be talking to him tomorrow so here again this why is there and that is asking for the reason for this action talking tomorrow so similarly 
with the help of these WH, we can frame any fact-finding question and that will always be replied with certain facts. And if you want to ask any negative question, it's very simple. Replace will by won't and that will make the question a negative WH question.